Hello YouTube, I'm Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Um, I hope you're doing well. Um, in today's video, I want to show you a new device that we have from Ajax Systems. It's called the Ajax Relay, okay? Um, I'm sure you've, you've been, you know, in, in your career or in your life, you've been wanting to control devices remotely, uh, create some automation uh, or building automation schedules or, you know, um, create scenarios that will make your life simpler and sometimes also save cost on electricity uh, or in, in some emergency situations uh, to have some other, you know, uh, I would say scenario to activate and prevent some more damage to a building like prevent flooding or water, uh, you know, leak in, in the building, okay? So this device, it's basically a wireless relay. All it needs is to be powered um, separately, okay? But it connects wirelessly to, um, to the Ajax hub, okay? And then from the relay properties, we can create different scenarios, depending on if you want it to follow the status of the room arming and disarming, uh, or simply be a scheduled uh, activation and deactivation, uh, we can create all those scenarios. So it's, again, Ajax is not only a, a, a fantastic security system, okay, but it's also a system that allows to create uh, home automation scenarios. So here, on this side of the terminals, uh, you'll see that you have the DC input for the, the, to power the relay, basically. Okay, and here we have the relay terminals. Okay, so and in the programming, we can define if you want it to be normally closed, normally open, that will change the state of the relay by default. Okay, and then depending on the scenario, for instance, here in the building, we have an application where when there's a water um, detector triggered, right, the, the, um, the leak detector, then the relay activates and then it's gonna shut down the water valve, okay? And at the same time, what it's doing, it's also opening the exhaust valve. So they basically, all the piping in the building, in case there's a, um, you know, a leak upstairs, for instance, all the piping in the building will basically uh, be removed from, from the water so that the leak uh, is, you know, uh, prevented, you know. So again, 12 volts to 20, or sorry, seven to 24 volts, uh, but recommended 12 to 24 volts DC input. Okay, and then you have the contact for the relay. Okay, now let's go and have a look at a real application for this device. Um, I'm going to show you the control room where we have it installed. This is the control room where we have the um, Ajax relay installed. Okay, so as you can see, we have our hub and we have a bunch of leak protects, um, you know, sensor, water sensors. Okay, so with the scenario we have created here, if the leak protects detects water in one of the different areas in the building, like in the kitchen or underneath the sink upstairs in the bathroom, okay, the relay will activate, okay? So if I want to show you physically how it's wired quickly, all right? So we can see here we have the Ajax relay, okay? Powered from the 12 volt DC output of this power supply, okay? And from here, we simply trigger a CR624 relay, which we use to shut down the water valve, okay, from one side, but at the same time, we open the exhaust valve. So basically this way, the piping of the building, which is typically filled with water, is drained to the sewer. So basically, we know that all the pipes are empty, so th in this way, there's less damage created by the flood or the, the leak, okay? So if I activate the output, from here, we can see now the relay here is turned off, okay? And the water is now off in the building. And also the exhaust uh, valve is open so that the piping is emptied of water, okay? Let me put it back to normal so the ladies upstairs can go to the bathroom. Relay, relay is now energized so that the system is back to normal. Okay, so let's have a look at the water valve. I'm gonna show you how it looks like. So here, as the other part of the installation, we have the hot water exhaust valve, the cold water exhaust valve, all right? So basically, when there's a water leak anywhere in the building, we open those two valves by the relay. They are energized with uh, DC power by the relay, and then the uh, system will drain all the water of the piping back into the sewer, all right? So let's uh, simulate an alarm uh, with the leak protect um, sensor. Okay, let, let me show you how it works. So in every room where there's water, we have one of these, okay? So they are simply installed on the floor like this. It's a very simple device to install. It's all sealed, okay? 
So let me show you if I take some water like this. Now water stops. We can hear the notification on my phone and then the exhaust valves are open and the water is now drained into the system. Okay, so now let's put this back to normal. And if I disarm the system, the system is now back to normal, water works again, and the exhaust valves are now closed. Okay. So this was a very good example of a scenario we can create using one or multiple relays, uh, Ajax relays. Okay. And you just have to think of any ideas you may have. Anything that can be controlled with a relay, we can control with Ajax now. So this was, again, an example of how we can use the Ajax relays to create scenarios um, and building automation scenarios. And uh, as you may know, in Axis, uh, we have a large inventory of Ajax products in Canada ready to ship. There's no delays. You order today, you get it uh, in a couple days. Um, so please, if you're interested in knowing more about this product, please contact our sales team. If you visit inaccess.com, you'll find the number and the email addresses to reach them. Um, and then obviously they know a lot about this um, Ajax system. They can help you create different applications. They will help you quote and make big projects with this product. Okay. So again, my name is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Thanks for watching. If you're ready to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the, the like button on this video as well. And if you have any comments, I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you.